So growing up, um, I always knew who God was. Like I, I thought of myself as a Christian, but um, God was always like a concept to me. Also, there was like a long period of time where I actually didn't believe in church just because I felt like it was filled with a bunch of judgmental hypocrites just from past experiences um, and also stories that I had heard. Well, I started going to college at Texas Tech University Reckham. And, you know, I just did the typical college thing where I partied a whole lot. There were weeks on end where I was like having the time of my life and I was loving everything that I was doing. And then there were days where I would just be sitting in my room and I would just be so unhappy with my life. And I remember thinking to myself, like, why do I feel this way? Um, what am I missing? And I knew the answer, um, the answer was God, and I was trying to fill that void and that emptiness that I had felt um, with you know, partying, alcohol, boys that didn't care about me in the placement of where God should have been. But at that point in my life, I honestly just felt so unworthy of a relationship with God. After I graduated, college, um, I was so over that roller coaster. I was so over the life that I was living. So my parents actually moved from um, Lake Travis to Laga Vista my senior year of college, and they found North Point. And so once I moved back home, they invited me to go to North, North Point, and I have not looked back since. <laughs> so the first Sunday service that I went to North Point, they played a song called Reckless Love. At first, I didn't uh, like know what the song really meant. I just knew that I really liked it. And then after I went back home and just researched the song, it like was exactly the way that I was feeling. Um, someone that was just lost and broken and then God um, just coming into their life and um, picking them up and finding them. I made a commitment to myself and to God that we were gonna take as much time as we needed to grow like a genuine relationship. There was a day where I was having such a bad day and I started feeling myself distancing from God again like how it used to be. That scared me to death. Like I broke down and I just remember just like saying to God like, what more do you want from me? I'm willing to give up everything, but please don't let me go back to the place that I was at. And then all of a sudden, God made it so obvious that he was there with me, not only in that moment, but every moment my entire life, just patiently waiting for me to let him in. And that was the most humbling experience because I finally understood God's unconditional love for me. Now I just feel so much more fulfilled and purposeful and content with who I am. And Jesus to me is the best relationship that I will have for the rest of my life. First, I would like to thank North Point. I would also like to thank my best friend and college roommate of four years, Ashley Morgan. I could not have gone through college without her. And then last but not least, I would like to thank my stepdad, Wheat Bailey. He was the example that I needed for what a relationship with God looks like. And I truly don't think that I would have a relationship with God today if it weren't for him. Alexis, it's such a blessing to watch God uh, in your life and, and to see what kind of woman he's made you. Um, such an honor and privilege to be here with you today, standing here, and I have one question for you. Do you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and have you put your full faith and trust in Him for the forgiveness of your sins? Yes. With that being said, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of His death, and raised to walk in the newness of life.